like. So now there's the completed paracord cross, the round flat knot one compared to the other one uh, that we did first that still has the cords coming out of the top and the bottom to this one's semi-finished. I'm just going to leave it the way it is so if they want to do something with it they can. These are going to be given away in next week's uh, video so tune in for that the weekend of December 2nd. I'm going to put these aside for now and I'm going to show you some other crosses that I've done to hopefully get your creative juices flowing um, and uh, come up with your own ideas on what you can do with this. Here's one that I made that I've got uh, the project finishing at the top and the bottom like the first one we made, the flat knot with the colors all weird and different. And then I've got a couple of Celtic button knots and then I made a tassel out of the rest of the paracord coming out of the bottom of this one. And there's this one here that's pretty much the same thing that's not made out of paracord it's just made out of some white cord I think I got it at Walmart from the fishing section but uh, doing the tassels a little bit tougher on that one but same thing finish the project at the top and the bottom and then a couple of Celtic button knots and then a sort of a tassel started there and this one I gave to my wife who loves it very much she puts it with her rosary but this is the same thing again, only I've got a Celtic button knot at the top and bottom with a tassel at the bottom. And I left these cords really long that I've worked with here. You can tell so that you can wear it as a necklace. And this one even has an adjustable. You can make it bigger or smaller by adjusting the two big Celtic button knots on the end. So that's a pretty cool. So you can do yourself a necklace, just leave a couple ends extra long and then join them together. It's a necklace. This one's real pretty. I like this. This is the kind of same kind of a thing that I did before. Finish the project top bottom. You got your crown knots, Celtic button knot, a little bit of a fringe there. And then I've done a whipping on the ends of these cables and left them long. And then put like I made a sort of a tassel like thing underneath. And you can imagine that if this is hung up on a wall or something that these these tassels hanging down below it look looks pretty nice. I like it. So that's just some ideas of some stuff that you can do. Uh, tune in for next week's video. I hope you learned something. Thanks. And don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.